Good morning everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto, hope you're all doing great, hope you had a great weekend and welcome to your daily update on Bitcoin. Um, a very volatile start of, of today, as most of you know, or at least when I woke up I saw, I saw a big crash and I saw a lot of cryptos dropping down. In general, if you watch my videos, you would have at least partially expected this. I mean, the, the, the point is, is that what we had in the weekend and especially also with no US trading on Friday, the volume dropped down very, very low. Um, even right now, I would actually say it's still relatively low. It's at $23 billion. It's up about 40%, but still, um, I, I think we'll see some more increases over the course of today. But what low volume means is that it's it's easier for, for whales and, and big traders, etc., to to bounce the price around. So what I said yesterday is that watch out for those liquidity levels, all right? So what you saw is that initially we had some bullish momentum yesterday evening. Uh, we grabbed some liquidity at 71,100, also at the top of this range, which we are in because we are ranging or consolidating, whatever you want to call it. Um, so, uh, so, so, so at the top of that, and then right now what we have done earlier this morning is we grabbed the liquidity to the downside. Now, the positive of that is, uh, the negative obviously is, is that a lot of people are liquidated. The positive is, is that uh, there now is a lot of liquidity at 72,000. It also shows some liquidity still at uh, 68,500. Uh, honestly, right now it's just like one, one and a half hours or two hours after we got that volatility. Uh, for now, I think we're still waiting for a little bit more confirmation as to whether this is the bottom. Uh, and that we can expect this uh, and that we can expect the the bottom of this range if you assume that this is a fake out uh, that that the bottom of the range will hold and that we'll get a bullish breakout here and that we can expect some more bullish momentum or that we'll still have that uh, pullback down to the the level where there's a little bit more liquidity uh, and that afterwards we will drop back down so it's waiting for that confirmation and and the thing is is that like I said, the volume is still relatively low. I expect more volume to get into the markets in the next 24 hours. In general, the main thing to watch right here, I would say on the one hour time frame, is can we either break back above 69,900, uh, which is the main resistance level I would say we have right now, because if we break above that level, I think it's fair to say that uh, that's a bullish confirmation and that we will actually get back up to the levels around 71,000 with a potential... Uh, of breaking above that and getting up to 72,000. Whereas if Bitcoin right now drops back down and it starts testing the support level at 69,100, I think it, if, if it tests that level once once more, I don't think that's a problem. But if we keep testing that, and uh, especially also if the open interest starts falling down, which so far the open interest is bouncing, all right? So that means that actual new positions are being opened right here. But if the open interest starts dropping down, so so we see we see movements like this, um, a further slope down, down towards like 37, 36 billion dollars in, uh, in in open interest, then we're losing momentum. And if we're losing momentum, we're going to drop down. We're going to grab that liquidity. I don't expect, like in general, I expect this this bigger support level to hold. Um, it's obviously possible in crypto. Anything is possible. It's possible that we'll drop down below that. And that will put in some sort of a downtrend. Uh, but fundamentally, with the halving coming up, I still think we're in for some more bullish momentum. Um, so the big question is, as well, is 69,000 the, the main support level, which we hit earlier this morning? Or will we drop down a little, little bit lower towards 68,500? I'd say it's more, more likely that 69,000 is the bottom, that we'll get some sort of a bullish breakout above 70 and that will recover back up to 71,000, all right? So short-term, that's what I expect. If we get a lot of volume, if we get a lot of momentum slash volatility, I'll probably make some sort of an extra update this afternoon. Um, but I'll keep you updated on that. For now, this is what I, I think you need to know. If you do have any questions, let me know as well. For now, thank you for watching. Take care and bye.